I haven't done the intro yet. Good morning, welcome to West Monmouthshire. This is the Go Go Sport V Pro Charity Day. I got 44 guys today, all playing Stableford. We're raising money for bowel cancer charity. Our captain here is a survivor of bowel cancer, so that's why we're supporting it. I'm going to see everyone off the first tee, and then I'm going to get up the hill and on the course, and we'll get a few shots, we'll get a few putts, and then we'll get our winners at the end. Enjoy. Oh, what a ball. That is a ball. Oh, this is a good group. This is a good group. <laughs> right, we're off and running. So I'm going to see all 44 players off the first. Now there's no shot tracer for oh, the simple drive. fact that how on earth would I remember where everybody hit the golf ball? And I'm sure some of them will not want you to know where they hit the golf ball. Standing in front of a camera for the first time, even though I've Another set myself way. up a long way back, before, is not for everybody. Here's young Max, our junior. It's a lovely ball. He's going to be a great golfer once he starts growing and filling out a pair of shoulders. Loves his rugby. Here's Basher. I'm sure you know Basher from some previous videos. Now it seems a bit windy down here. There goes Neville. Started with a nine, poor devil. Now it seems a bit windy down here, but wait until we get up on top of the hill. And in some ways it kind of like spoils the video. Because I was Shut hoping up. to talk to people as they walked onto tees and greens and see how they're going and they can say <laughs> hello try. and introduce themselves but it was so windy that it became impossible sound became a huge issue today now every now and then it didn't rain as much as we had a low cloud come across so we got a little bit damp for about five or ten minutes as each low cloud passed over the hill but it didn't rain which is something that we are all grateful for Shot. Good <laughs> so unless you are Sky Sports Shot. as amateur youtubers are always have an issue with wind so once we get up there I'm afraid there's a fair bit of sound that's going to be turned right down to get rid of the wind noise. And we'll pop on a little bit of music and you watch some guys putting, some successfully, some not so successfully. This is my youngest, away he goes. This is their mate Callum who hits a bloody long ball my eldest who was a little bit quick for the camera so yeah once we get up there on the hill you'll find that the video and the sound is rather limited by this exceptionally strong wind these guys are playing it and you don't realize it's not just hitting the golf ball in a wind like this it's putting as well you know you get an uphill putt into the wind and you don't seem to be able to get the ball to the hole because the wind is so strong I must say though that I am slowly learning how to play in this wind I hope one day to be able to say that I can play golf in the wind is Gary undoubtedly won the prize for the brightest person on the day and there's one or two serious golfers here like this gentleman I've forgotten his name but boy can he play golf
Sharp. Good ball. That is good. Sharp. Oh, what a ball. What a bloody ball. And the two. Well, you can hear the wind, so not only can you imagine the difficulty that all our players today are having in putting in it, but the fact that it's an absolute impossibility for me to ask them the names and what their home course is and how far they've travelled and if they're enjoying it. We had some exceptionally brave souls go out in this and accept the fact that they were going to be shooting well over their handicap. I remember at the start in the bar, a gentleman mentioning, oh, today will be one with 44 or 45 stable foot points. And he was exceptionally wrong. But I do remember saying to myself, for the gross prize, somebody's going to have trouble breaking 80. And we had a couple of guys break 80 and break 80 by some considerable margin. How? I don't know. All I can do is take my hat off and shake their hand really. Exceptional golf in this weather. But you can see the difficulty of putting in this wind, getting the ball to the hole. There's so many putts which were. Some people. Yeah, there's one of our serious golfers. So many putts which were online and a little shy or just get blown off course. They did very, very well.
guys. With the wind blowing the microphone around, you keep getting these very loud bangs and clicks. So each clip, I'm trying to work my way through and just turn the volume down. One overriding thing that I got out of today was the laughter. I think most groups played a little bit of a four ball amongst themselves for a pound or two. But everybody was laughing at how harsh the conditions were. And they were rather harsh. Say something quite dramatic and that's when visitors come and see the 16th hole for the very first time. The camera makes this look pretty flat. You can see it's downhill but it just doesn't look as downhill as it is in real life. It's quite a shock. Those who hadn't been here before all said the same thing that it was quite, quite dramatic. Oh, and lucky's that, I've no off button, it's coming down. <laughs> Bloody good shot. Good press. It is easy to find them. I'm not going to the World Championships. Like Woodland Coast, but places. 
like this. We lost on the first playoff. Well, I'm just beside 17 now. The last group's coming down onto the green behind me. And days like this don't happen without people. So I've got to give my thank yous to Go 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 Sport V Pro, who sponsored today and provided all the prizes. And I got to thank the golf club for hosting us and the officials of the club who's helped me organize this. And we had a spotter on top of the hill on the first hole for anyone who went right, and he, he volunteered to do that. So I owe him a beer. I'd like to thank all the people who've traveled a very long way. We have someone here from the other side of Portsmouth and from Manchester. And of course, all the local members who've helped the visitors get round this course today in this wind. And I'm happy to say that everybody has been laughing at themselves and how difficult it has played today. Uh, you can't do anything else really. You, you laugh and perhaps there might have even been a few tears. But so the last group's coming down. I'll follow them in and we will see the last putt on the 18th. And then uh, we'll sort out the prizes and we'll get some photos of the winners. So thanks to everybody. Let's hope I can do it again next year. Perhaps next year, We'll have a shotgun start off. We'll use four or five tee boxes and that will get everybody on the golf course more or less at the same time. Good morning, it is the day after and I am so tired still. Managed to get into bed last night about half past 11 and then I was awake at quarter to five, I was still absolutely buzzing. So days like that don't happen without people stepping forward. Um, so the biggest thank you, I think, has got to go to Jackie at Go 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 Sport V Pro. When I approached the company as to see if they would sponsor a charity day, they said they'd see what they can do. 
Uh, and then about a month later, they sent me an email saying, we can give you this, we can give you this amount. And I virtually fell off my chair here. And in fact, I fell off my chair a number of times in the clubhouse. The lads up there are absolutely fantastic at uh, West Monmouthshire Golf Club. The place was absolutely rocking after the event. We did the finds. So we were, there's my phone. We, we did the finds where we find people for doing something silly on the golf course. And it was supposed to be a pound. But some guys were putting in £10 notes and £20 notes and saying, nah, keep it. Because of course it all goes to charity. So I've got to thank the members and the guests who came for their generosity, which was, it absolutely blew me away on the day. Because there wasn't very many of us, you know, this wasn't a big event with 160 people taking part. There was 44. And one guy who couldn't come still sent his money to go to the charity, which was bowel cancer. So I've got to thank the club and all everybody who turned up especially those who travelled a long way in order to do so. And it was very nice to meet people who I only know in the comments on this computer here. So it was nice to meet them in person. Richard came down from Manchester. Gary, who plays at the Bells at Colford. He works at the same school as my wife that the kids went to. Isn't it a small world? I'm not going to remember everybody's names, so if I forget your name, I'm, I'm truly sorry. So we did the fines, we did the prizes, um, we auctioned off three of my not bad for an old man jumpers, uh, which went for money that made me fall off my chair really. Four guys clubbed together to buy the medium sized jumper for a really big lad to wear and he, he Went and took his jumper off, he put he put my jumper on and he looked like Popeye, honestly, with all sort of bulging muscles everywhere. But of course, it's for the charity. Got to thank Lee for sorting out the start sheet. We, we did have some last minute changes, um, which made it a little awkward for some people who wanted to either go early, you know, start early or start late or whatever their preference was. But... That's how these days go sometime. And of course, one person in particular I must thank, and that is Neville. Not only did he come up from the other side of Portsmouth on the coast opposite the Isle of Wight, but he did all the admin. So he was checking everybody in, in the morning. And then when the last putt dropped and I came in the clubhouse after being out on the course for over six hours, there was a nice stack of cards, all in the right order, names against prizes, and at the end of the evening he disappeared into a corner on his own and he added up all the charity donations. Anyone who's ever organised anything knows that that is a thankless task, but without somebody taking the pressure off the presenter, if you want to call me a presenter, Without somebody actually disappearing off into a corner and sorting the cards out, the events just simply don't happen. Neville, I love you, mate. We're coming down. I'm going to do a proper video around your course rather than that half assed one I did last year. So, the figure. What did we raise from a very small number of people at a very small working man's golf club? Nine hundred pounds. Nine hundred. That's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I didn't expect to get half of that, really. Well, maybe two thirds of that. I thought. I thought. You know, if I do six hundred pounds for bowel cancer, that would be great. But we've done nine hundred. So thanks to everybody who took part, everybody who's donated, and thanks for all the laughter in the clubhouse. I, mean, I don't think I got away till about quarter past nine. It was, the clubhouse was alive. What a great, great golf club and members up there. Wonderful, wonderful people. And I'm even more proud of this letter on my wall, which gave me honorary membership. So if I get a sponsor next year, we'll do it again. 
We'll do it in September where we might not have a three club wind. And we'll do a shotgun start. We'll try and get everybody out on the golf course uh, together and kind of like finishing together. So we can use the six or seven tee boxes nearest the clubhouse and put two or three groups on each tee. Thank you all very, very much for such a wonderful day. Cheerio.